Hey, so I'm going to do a video today of the Specialized Boomslang pedal and how to service it. Now you may have seen some videos already on YouTube and stuff of how to service these. You probably may notice that they actually are a, what is a brand new pedal, they're basically taking apart and replacing parts and putting it back together again, which is a lot easier than having something like this where the axle is actually solid, it won't move, holes are all filled in. Uh, the customer's removed the, uh, the inner pin uh, to basically give a bit more of a concave to his pedal. Uh, which is achieved, but at the same time is also not replaced these with uh, capped socket screws, actually replacing with grub screws so the inner plate can rotate round and stuff. So it's not ideal, I mean, it kind of works, but it's, it's not ideal. So what I'm going to do is service the pedals, put new bearings in here, and uh, clean the axle, put uh, replacement pins in there, or capped socket screws to kind of keep the concave going, and I'll talk you through it, okay? So before I even take this apart, or even try and attempt it, I need to clean these holes out. Um, so I'm just going to use a pick, Basically scrape out all the crud that's in there. Just kind of get that out. And then when I've done this, what I'm going to do is give them a thorough wash. Just to really get all the, the crap off them. It's a good chance to really get inside the uh, all the holes inside, like, like these ones, for example. Get all the dirt out of there. So this will just help make my life easy when I, um, when I come to cleaning it. Okay, that should do for now. So I'm just going to give these a clean. Quick clean, clean the holes out. Now it's time to remove this. Okay, so if you've seen the specialized video, they put the tool in the, in the vise, they put the pedal in the tool, and they rotate the pedal. Now that does work, but what I don't like about it is you can slip, skin your hand, obviously on the uh, on the pins, or the, the the actual pedal can actually kind of twist out of the tool and then damage, damage the actual um, the pin holes here on the pedal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it around, put the pedal in the vise. The tool and the pedal, and then take the um, you know take a spanner to it. Now, if you're lucky enough like I am, my actual vice jaws sit right between the the gaps here between the pins. Uh, if yours doesn't, what I'd recommend is two pieces of wood. It'll squash down. It won't damage the pedal. It'll have a nice, good, secure fit, and then you can basically attack the um, uh, the nut at the top here. So let me just put this in. You see that slides in there nicely. Bit of gentle, gentle clamp. Pop the tool on top, like so. Make sure the, the pins are nicely recessed into the uh, into the, the balls. Get the spanner. Remember, um, this pedal is the right pedal, so it's a left hand thread. So basically, you go counterclockwise. So clockwise, so tighten up, like so. Or clockwise to untighten even. Spin it around a few times until that comes loose. And pull it out, and there's your axle. As you can see, heavily corroded, so that's gonna need cleaning up. And the bearing does rotate when it's out, so that means the uh, the needle bearings down here, which clearly are rusted up, um, that's gonna be the cause why the axle was seized. So what I'm gonna do is remove this, take the pedal out, Gonna seat this so the either side of the um, let me see it's a bit greasy. Either side of the um, the device jaws will sit here and here, and then I'm going to tap this with a hammer, and that basically will force the bearing off here. Always use the soft side of, the, of your mallet if you've got one. That pops off. Just check your axle as well, make sure it's all okay, not, no, not, you know, the corrosion's not too bad. Obviously I'm going to give this a clean. That's your bearing. And then in here you get a ring, and there's an O-ring. Should be somewhere. <laughs> the O-ring's just still inside there. Which is just there. So take that O-ring out. Set it aside, check it's all okay, make sure everything else is okay. I'm going to remove this bearing as well. So to remove the bearing, I'm just going to do the same procedure but in reverse. So put the axle back in. Move the vice jaws apart just so it sits on the surface of the, on the edge of the, um, the little uh, nut. Tap it out. That's 
an extractor. So I'm going to give all these parts a good clean and then uh, I'll polish it up and then reassemble it. So let's go remove the grub screws that the customers put in. So this is quite tight, so what I've done is got like a another M4 bolt, push it through the hole, just kind of help rotate this. So there's nothing in, the, in there really to stop it from coming out, like so. So rotate around and then you kind of push it through like that. So again, I get that, give, give that a clean. And then this is what you're left with. So in here you've got an O-ring like that. Just have some grease on it. You pull this out, prise it off. That's like the, the cover. Same on the other side. And then take that off as well. And in here, See, you've basically got a bearing in there, which the, the new bearing and that pushes out. And as you can see, that has seen better days. Okay, right, so let's get this cleaned up. So that's the finished product. Um, as you can see, there's still some kind of marks in there. That's a little bit of pitting and some of the old paint as well that's still on there. Um, it, it feels relatively smooth to the touch. It's not like a wheel axle where it needs to be really smooth, um, otherwise it's obviously gonna affect the rotation. Pedals aren't too bad in terms of wanting the, the axle to run smoothly, um, but this, this will be fine for this purpose. Um, so yeah, let's get this thing assembled. So the first thing you wanna do is rebuild the, um, needle bearing case so I need to put the bearings back in take the new bearing I'm gonna put plenty of grease in here and some on the outside and I'm just gonna massage it into the, the needle bearings slide that into its house pop the ends on it doesn't matter which way they're going because you need to rotate them in a bit to make sure they're all aligned. Like that. And then put a the finger over the end and then put the axe in. What that does is kind of force the, the grease to go, go everywhere. A bit like so, just check it's all okay. Cheers, feels nice and smooth. Make sure that lose that O-ring. And then I'm gonna put this in here. And you see, you've got like the um, radius is here. Also, that you got to match them up with the radius on the um, the internal part here. So, as you can see on the pedal here, you got these little curves. They correspond with the curves on these insets here, it's there and there. And as you want this to go in and turn down, uh, you want to make sure these are cross these correspond are in line with this. Maybe it's a lot easier to do when you're not using a camera. There you go and then that snaps back in place. Now, what I'm gonna do is put some bolts in there. Okay, I've got a bit more grease in here. Get your new bearing. Grease it up. on the axle, push it in with your fingers. You're gonna take your, your nut, and your tool, and just by fingers, just use the, make sure you get the threads on them and screw it in place. Remember this is uh, the opposite thread, so counter, counter, um, counterclockwise to tighten up. Before you go all the way down, what I do is get some, some Loctite, Put a dot up there, and a blob 
there. Let me screw that back into place. And this point gets tight. That's because it's pushing against the bearing. So then we take it to the vise. Nip it up. Don't over tighten it. Just pinch it up. So as soon as you feel it come to a stop, just get a little nip. That should be enough. Should use a torque wrench, but it's not a critical, a critical part. Then what I'm going to do is put a bit more grease in here. Only a little bit. Basically, the more grease you put in here, the less likely water is going to get in there and penetrate the seals. Then take the O-ring. Pop that in there. Then I'm going to put the end piece, which is basically the uh, push up against the bearing and push up against your crank. Now when you put this in, you've got to be careful not to get the bearing trapped, which I haven't. There you go, you can see all the excess grease comes out of the, the pinholes. That's it. And that's that. I hope this video was of some use to you. Um, please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the little bell if you want notifications of up and coming videos. Any comments or criticism, like I say, write them down below and I'll get on to you ASAP. Thanks for watching. See you soon.